Hey guys, if you're using PEX for the first time, probably one of the most important things you need to know is uh, what kind of uh, clamps you're gonna use. So the two most popular kinds of clamps are the, the pinch clamp. These are uh, stainless steel. And the other one is the crimp ring. These are made of copper. So to make this video short, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, in my opinion, and working with both, I found that the pinch clamps are the best. They're the most user friendly. So yeah, guys, uh, do yourself a favor. Don't even consider the crimp rings. Go straight for the pinch clamps, especially if you're just uh, a DIYer or doing a weekend project. These, if I would have known beforehand. It would have saved me time, money, and a headache. So the reason I say that is because using the, the crimp rings, it's just a hassle. One, the tool is a, a lot bigger and heavier. And in order to make a good crimp, the tool needs to go over the, the whole uh, pipe and the ring itself. So that creates a problem when you're in tight spaces, it makes it difficult to get in, to get the tool around the whole ring, if not impossible. So yeah, with the pinch clamp tool, all it needs to do is go over the nipple right here. So it's a lot easier to get into tight spaces. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the, one of the ma the major reason I like using the the pinch um, clamps instead of the crimp rings. The other problem with these uh, crimp rings is that once you crimp it down, uh, you're not done. You need to check it with the gauge in order to make sure that that you made a a proper crimp. So yeah, uh, that just adds another step to your job, which uh, becomes a hassle. With the pinch clamps, once you pinch it down, uh, you're good to go. Don't need to check it or anything. So yeah, once you check your crimp ring, if it's not crimped properly and you need to take it off and put another ring on there, uh, it's difficult uh, to get off with with pliers or or anything else. You need a special tool that they sell that actually goes inside the, the PEX pipe and the bar fitting and cuts cuts it out but what I found that uh, using that tool uh, you end up cutting through through the ring and and the pex pipe and nicking the bar fitting which um, makes the bar fitting useless because once you nick nick it uh, it's gonna end up leaking so that, that's just another another issue I have with these crimp rings that's why I stopped using them and I use the the pinch clamps now uh, yeah, in order to take the pinch clamps off, all you need to do is uh, cut this nipple off. You could do it with some shears, but they sell a special tool, but I found that uh, shears, uh, you can get them off uh, easy, unlike the, the, the crimp rings that you actually do need the special tool to get them off. So yeah, guys, uh, what do you guys think? Which which one do you guys prefer using? Uh, let me know in the comments below why you prefer using the pinch clamps or the crimp rings. But yeah, in my opinion, uh, these are a lot user friendly, uh, especially if you're just a DIYer doing a weekend project. Yeah, these are way better. I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description below of some uh, pinch clamp tools you could buy. But yeah, guys, uh, if you guys found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.